Hello everyone, welcome to Hopeful Turns. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this crochet mini roses. Now, this is a very quick and easy tutorial and I'm sure you can finish it in under 5 minutes. Uh, but if you're looking for something more elaborate and more sophisticated crochet rose flower, you can try this. Uh, I'll put the links in the description box as well as in the i button that is popping up. Uh, but this kind of rose would require a little more time and effort. But if you're pressed for time and if you want to make small roses, you can definitely try this. Now we'll see how to make this. So to make these crochet mini roses here, I have used a size E or 3.5 mm crochet hook and a sport weight yarn. Now you can use any yarn that you have at hand, just use the recommended hook size for it. And you'll definitely require very less yarn. So if you have scrap yarns, that's more than enough. Then you'll need a pair of scissors and a darning needle. So we'll start. So we'll start this off with a slip knot. So first make a slip knot. So this is how I like to make a slip knot. I'll take the yarn, loop it around my finger like an X and pull the working yarn through this loop. So here I've got my slip knot. And once you have your slip knot, make 10 chain stitches. Okay, so we'll make 10 chain stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, if you need any help with the basic stitches, I'll put a playlist for the Crochet for Beginners series. You can check that up if you want some help with the basic stitches. So once you have your 10 chain stitch, what I'm going to do is I'll skip the very first chain stitch and into the second stitch, I'm going to make a single crochet. So make a single crochet in the second stitch and make single crochet in the next two stitches also. So in the next stitch also make a single crochet and one more single crochet in the stitch next to it. So here we have made a total of three single crochets. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'll put two half double crochet in the next three stitches. Okay, so make two half double crochet. So for a half double crochet, you yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, pull up a loop. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all the three. So this is your first half double crochet. Make one more half double crochet in the same stitch. So two half double crochet goes in one stitch. Like that, I'm going to make two half double crochet in the next two stitches also. So yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch and make a half double crochet. Make one more half double crochet in the same stitch like this. And again, two half double crochet in the next stitch also. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop and then complete your half double crochet. Make one more half double crochet. So here you have two half double crochet. So we have put two half double crochet each in three stitches. We have last three stitches left. So what we'll do is we'll put three double crochet each in the last three stitches. All right. So for double crochet, you yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, pull up a loop. You have three loops, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the last two. So this is your first double crochet. Like this, I'll make two more double crochet in the stitch. So make two more double crochet. So this is one and one more. So three double crochets go in one stitch. Like that, I'll put two double, three double crochet each in the last two stitches also. So make three double crochet. So this is one, this is two and one more double crochet in the stitch and three double crochet in the last stitch also. So make three more double crochets. So that's all to the pattern. So what you do is in the first three stitches, you put single crochet, one single crochet each. In the next three stitches, you put two half double crochet each. And in the last three stitches, you put three double crochet each. So that's it. I'll just 
make chain one and then cut my yarn off so just cut it a little longer so this is what now we have okay now what we'll do is we'll just roll this up so we'll roll from the single crochet end so we'll just roll this up like this roll it roll it and like this and now we'll stitch this up together so for that i'll first of all thread this end here okay so here i have threaded in the needle and now we'll stitch this up so what i'll do is i'll just go through this stitch here first so that it will just join to the main flower like this don't pull it too tight okay then just go randomly at the bottom side try to catch hold of the different layers and go through it a few times till you feel that it is secure okay, go a couple of times trying to catch hold of the different layers that are there and one more time should be more than enough so that's all to it it's done so that's it it's ready so here our mini rose is ready now you can keep it just like this or you can even attach this to some leaf and make it something like this also i do have a video on how to make this leaf applique i'll put the links in the description box also and also on the i button that is popping up so that's all for the tutorial for today i hope you liked it see you in the next video until then bye bye thank you for watching